Hello, <coughs> I weren't going to bother uploading any video, but I want to try something regarding widescreen, etc. Anyway, yesterday I put the 240 in. I haven't ducked it up yet because uh, I haven't sorted out the earth. Um, yeah, uh, that's it really. Right, uh, the reason for this is what I've done, this cable here goes down like, under there round here well that's going to get tucked up back there and what it basically is is for the toilet it's a 12 volt feed for the toilet so what I've done I've uh, this is earth plate so I've got it in there and I've connected it to the auxiliary switch so when I want to use the toilet so, when I want to send power to the toilet, then I just switch on the auxiliary switch. Simple as, basically. Right, it's not working, the toilet. Uh, I bought one of these ages ago. It's not a fantastic one. And I've been learning how to use it. And I've come up with a conclusion them instructions Stephen Hawkins had struggle understanding them right so I'm going to put my glasses on oh, after I've dropped them and broke them on the floor oh dear me oh I have broke them and all look my glasses falling out oh I won't need to keep wiping it will I oh, that'll be alright Oh my god, I can't cope with that. I'll have to come back. Right, I'm back. <coughs> Lens attached. Right, like I run about this here uh, multimeter. I don't claim to be an expert or anything. But, what I've read and seen on uh, YouTube, etc. Why is it not focusing again? I do apologise about this. There. Yeah. Right. That there is basically DC, direct current. Right? These are the only two that you'll need. The direct current one, it could be over here. Blah, blah, blah. But V is direct current. If you're checking for 12 volts, which you generally will be, you need to set this to 20 you always got higher than whatever if you're doing like a battery or something like that you know like you're putting a camera or anything and then two volts is ample because i think it's 1.5 volt right if you want to check a fuse you know if it's okay or anything like that and then you need that and i forgot what it is but anyway it's that one there that hurdy gurdy sign and again, uh, oh no you don't, no, no you put it to that. No, you put it to that, and what happens is it beeps. This, I forgot the actual name of it now, but say you've got a cable and you want to see if it's broke. Then you put one end on one end and one end on the other. I think. I forgot. Terrible, aren't I? Right, so anyway, forget that then. Yeah. This is the one, really. The, the V, we align with some dots underneath. And what it basically does is... Because that's all we're ever going to use. Turn it to 20 like that. Right. And then... Hang on. Oh, dear. forgot about them these there's a do under there, there look. V for volt that like horseshoe thing I forgot what it is and then the ampage etc 
that black in there always goes in com underneath there it says com that goes in com that goes in v for volts that's all you're going to be testing it for that's that's it right so right. Oh. Oh. i've already turned the power on to the uh, toilet That's, the, that's that wire that's up there look it's going into the thing there right this is the cable going to the toilet it's blue and brown obviously brown's alive in my case up there red's alive black's neutral neutral right and what you basically do is you put I'm going to have to get myself a stand on there you put there you got your black wire uh, black sticky any thinger <laughs> and your red sticky any thinger and basically what you're doing basically what you're doing you're going to stick the black wire the black end into this side then your lava will be red all right Let's see if I can prop this somewhere I don't know where to put it I'm putting this in the legs like that no peeping oh to the live like that and the black into the oh and you can't fucking see it now can you there that's the reading I'm getting so there's power gain to it but the toilet ain't working right so we know there's power coming from the zig and when I turn the auxiliary off it loses out everything. Right, so turn that bad boy off. It's quite possible <coughs> that the wires in here may be frayed or something because I've just stuck them in. Uh, so, what I'm going to do, and I'll, uh, I'm going to have to turn the video off to do this. Uh, I'll take the wires out and show you. Alright, oh you can see. Hey, oink. Right, where's my little screwdriver? There we go. Alright, so... quite possible that it's the pump the pump is located down there underneath your toilet roll holder right oh there's plenty of wire there plenty so what I'm going to do anyway snip them Bet. Hey, do you like my snips? Garden shears. Absolutely brilliant for cutting water pipe. Yeah, they are. Just said they were. Oh, look at that. Oh. Right. The old fashioned way. Probably get a bollocking for doing this, won't I? Or somebody. Hey, 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 hey,
How clean that is, isn't it? That pretty. <coughs> Set caravana for you, won't I? Been on to hospital today with Sandra. Four hours we were waiting for an ambulance to come back. Terrible. Right, so I've read them then. So I'll put them back into the doodah. So and like so, nip them up. Lost my screwdriver. <clears throat> nip it up. Do 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 do. Come on. Get in your shit. I'm sorry you can't see it, but Like I said, the power's on. Um, oh. Yeah, like I said, power's on. So I'm going to bang this on the swing there. Put it down there. In fact, I think I might be able to pick it up through the bloody screws. Why does everything have to be so bloody awkward? Seven six seven eight seven blah blah blah. Right, so like I say, definitely power getting to it. Right, uh, I've checked the fuse uh, inside. For those who don't know where it is, I shall show you. Right, we all we all know that scenario, don't we? Right, out with the bog holding tank. Right, uh, there's your fuse. Do you see it? From outside, it's located there. So basically. And I've tested it and it's fine. In fact, I swapped it anyway. Right, we'll try and get the damn thing back in now. There you go. There. Right, there's also a micro switch there. Uh, can you see? 
Can you see it? Can you hear it? Right, and there's also one <coughs> in there. That's when you press your, your thing. <sighs> right, so like I said, the fuse is okay. Right, so what I'm going to do now, show you where the pump is. What it is, the uh, spinny thing on the impeller oh, gets uh, stuck. The blue stuff that you put in, you know, for cleaning toilet, well, you know, you flush. It congeals or does something. Sorry, I'm having a fag. <sighs> I'm a bit lethargic because I've I say I've been on hospital with Sandra. And uh, not wrong. Just a one of her regular appointments. But it's a ball I got with the Preston. Right. Toilet roll holder. Ah, just listen. Can you hear a click? That's your micro switch for, yeah, so, right. right, this, basically, it pops out. Right, now that's rubber. Right, look how disc, oh, it's horrible. I don't think it should be that colour. Right, there is your pump. Right, now I've never taken one of these out. Uh, I'm going to put lights on, with the light, uh, oh yeah there look, you see the screw, mm -hmm. hello Mr. Screw, how you doing, you not screwy please, that's what I'm, right so, I'll have to put the phone down, I'm going to undo that screw, uh, I don't think there's any more, and apparently it's popped out, I'll be back shortly. Back. It only took a minute. Is that? Oh God. Right, the pump's out. Right, look at that. I think that's what it is. You know, all the gunge and everything. Right. Can you see that there? That's your impeller, basically. And it's supposed to spin freely. Uh, I haven't tried spinning it yet because I'm older this what I shall ever do now for, just for you where are we? <gasps> did he move that? Right, so I'm going to free that nice and gently away. Uh, I might pull this pipe off and I can get it. Oh, got me back. Right then, gents and peoples. Can I just ask, does anybody know if this is what fills it with water? I think it is, isn't it? It will fill right at the top, surely. Why well, is I'm asking? Is that? Should there be a joint in it? Well, there has to be one. Oh, there can't be. I'm not too sure where this cable goes. It goes that way. It goes to that clicky thing. It'd probably go to this, won't it? So, what I'll do. I'm going to I'm gonna undo this. Press the things in now. The holding tank and it'll obviously click 
the clicker. So, if I undo that, put the multimeter on, because I have one, press that, that should power. At least we know then we're getting power to that. So it could be a case I need a new pump, because that the power is well stuck. Right, I shall just see. Um, Right, I have took that shrink wrap, shrink wrap, well it is isn't it, to reveal that, uh, needless to say, what I'm going to do is cut it there, cut it there, and then like I say I'm going to test this, see if 12 volts getting through, okay buddy, right uh, what I've done, I've uh, cleaned them up for sake of argument. Right, I'm going to see if there's any power. I've already actually done it and it's okay. Uh, it's all fingers and thumbs in it, so my little tiny toolbox is holding the pump down. Right, uh, I don't know how I'm going to do this to be honest to show you. Uh, hang on a minute. That's that. So, like I say, there's power getting to the pump and enough. So, it has to be the pump. Yay! See, I do know something. Yeah, like I say, it has to be the pump. I think it's sad it's day to be honest with you, don't you? But I've been told if you saw coming out water, you can get all the gunge out. I can't see out in there, can you? But that impeller is definitely stuck. Definitely, definitely, definitely. Uh, oh, oh, so there's a. Uh, Oh, there's a... Uh... Right, where's the little screwdriver? There we go. Right, let's see if we can't. There, look, it's... Oh, it's moving. Although very, very stiff. Yeah, what I'll do, I'll go and soak it in some red hot water. Anyway, now you know. So hopefully this will be it. Uh, the reason for it not working. Okay. Radio. Right, what I've done, I've bubbled the kettle. I'm going to pour some boiling water. Do not try this at home. It's going out tonight. It's going out. No, I've got to admit, this is well and truly stuck. I think rather than messing, and obviously risk it happening again, I think it's time for a new one. I won't mind, but I've paid 160 quid for this second hand. For the... Yeah. Man, you haven't said that, though. It might be all right. It's just... <laughs> it's been sat at caravan in motor on for two months. So, I won't avail it, will it? Right, I'm just going to have another do at it. Right, I've got it soaking in a old coffee jar. Red hot water. And what I'll do, leave it five minutes and then change water. Put some more in. And see what happens. But I, I can have a no hope, I think. No hope. Anyway. Yeah. So, hopefully that's the problem like I say there's 12 volts getting to the pump so that, that's all it can be right what can I do now 
it's getting late you see I think it's about half six something like that right? I didn't get back from hospital till time we're at tipping point we're on so we're after four oh yeah uh, oh there's not really much I can do well there is but you know what I mean I don't fancy crawling in that van to sort out this <sighs> I've done the oh yeah the fridge yeah that's it there that wire there comes from the alternator probably so it's when you're running it charges you it runs your fridge and the cable there goes all the way down down there through there under there under there under there under there to there and obviously it's going to go to the fridge. Move it into the spleen. New knobs. New nail collar. Bless you. He broke it. So when he's older, I'm going to take it out of his spending money. Ha! Yeah. Oh, God. I ordered some tadpole trim. Some of that stuff. From our peak conversions. Very good bloke he is. He even rung me up. Anyway, yeah. Ordered it, paid an extra six quid for next day delivery, and then what are we going to do? Well, we're going to get this unit in here, get the cupboards in across here, and then I could actually start building here the uh, small benches. Right. When I'd ordered everything and it got dispatched last night, I, uh, yeah, <laughs> I ordered dark instead of silver. So. Six quid down drain. He's going to refund and everything. So what I've done today, I've ordered some just regular postage. It'll be a Tuesday, Wednesday. He's shipped it today, but it's just 48 hour. Just... Yeah, so... Pissed off. Can you see my glass? I've just wedged it in. Yeah. So, right. I am going to go and... Uh, I don't know. I might tidy up. I've got a bit of a mess in it. I've got my toilet stuff, my bathroom stuff there now. It's not right clever, but it'll do. Right, I've just been onto the forums and asked if how uh, loose the impeller should be. You know, like when you spin it, does it spin, or does it? Is there a bit of resistance? And anyway, what I've done. Uh, left it soaking in red hot water and it seems to be okay there's still a bit of resistance there you know what I mean anyway I've tried it on um, I plugged it in plugged it in like uh, oh, oh. Uh, guess what I've done I've gone and bought myself some crimps sandering to you and my son turned up I said nippers down to do that they're a bit big size of them the, the ratchet job way yeah cool that they yeah so we might take them back these are just too bloody clumsy anyway right I shall uh, put some dudes on here with my crimper don't tell Sandra Right, I've crimped them on, like that, all wired up and everything. Uh, now for the moment of truth, I shall push the button. <laughs> Whee! As TTXL I would say, result, mission accomplished, tea time. Well, as you all know by now, I can't do anything without doing it wrong. What have I done wrong? Eat shrink. I ain't put the eat shrink on. <laughs> oh my god. Oh. So I'm going to have to cut them off. And redo it. I don't believe this. Right. 
in a bit, people.